Benvenuti to our olive harvest in Umbria, a joyful experience performed entirely by hand. Trees fat with olives yield a bumper crop, proudly toted to the local communal press for a healthy yield of beautiful, delicious, extra virgin olive oil. Buongiorno, I'm Jed with Italy Wise, and I'm here with my dear friend, David, who has flown in from the States to help me pick olives. Uh, just a bit of warning, uh, this is uh, gonna be a video about our olive harvesting adventure. Uh, we are not experts. This is probably gonna be more like the Keystone Cops harvest olives. So uh, we will try to chronicle our adventure which is probably going to be a day or two because there are tons of olives on the trees. I mean, like, I've never seen fruit like this since I moved here. We have our olive baskets freshly cleaned. Um, we're not sure we have enough of them. And this part's going to be really interesting. We have this net that you put under the trees to shake the olives. And uh, I actually haven't been real good about pruning my trees and keeping the land beneath the trees really groomed. So it might be a little treacherous, but we're gonna try to, you know, not kill ourselves in the process, right? So anyway, thanks for coming along and um, let's have some fun picking olives. Anything you wanna say? So happy to be here. It's amazing, you should come. All right, let's go. I'm here and it's fantastic. Can't wait to get these guys over here. Is there enough? Looks ready. It's my, my professional olive picking uh -huh. opinion. So we set to work, patiently running our fingers down the pregnant branches while we listened to the steady hum of the electronic fingers in use by our neighbors to make fast work of harvesting a grove much larger than mine. Their massive nets capturing the most errant olives. We are here with the human machine, but anyway, something about having a, a tactile sense of, yes, you don't get much closer to the olives than by hand. Once a tree is stripped of its fruit, comes the art of methodically gathering the net's contents and transferring them to an awaiting crate designed specifically for olives. Our first tree. Yay! <laughs> we are here at one of my favorite local places, that's Volpelli. We are rewarding our hard work. We've harvested one tree already and we're gonna eat well and then go back and work some more. We have earned this, haven't we? Properly fueled by our tasty and filling lunch, we were back at it for two and a half more days, though intermittent rain forced us indoors on several occasions. Hey guys, it's day number three and we're still at it. We're in what I loosely call my olive grove. We have filled almost four cassetti um, of a varietal that um, coming off the tree, they look like a mix of green, purple, in between. Now we're turning to this tree with these really beautiful deep purple olives. I actually need to, you know, sit down with some uh, books and bone up on my knowledge of what types of olives these actually are. But anyway, uh, we're taking a pause from the other olives to harvest about three or four trees with these babies. And our hope is that later today, we will have enough that we can call it a day, go to the Frantoyo, and have our olives weighed and figure out how much olive oil we'll be able to go back for. So more about that later, but um, here we are. Oh 
Oh my god, these are heavy. Anyway, we're heading to the Frantoyo to get these weighed. And hopefully we'll find a place where we can have a glass of wine and a um, plate of cheeses and meats. Our harvest came to an even 100 kilo. Our olives would be held and added to other small lots for a dedicated pressing. Machines stripped the leaves and branch debris, washed the olives, and then they disappear into the inner workings of the mechanical press. Olive gold comes out on the other end. I returned a few weeks later to pick up our yield, which was almost 12 liters. Imagine the gratification of pouring this precious liquid at home and remembering three full days of olive harvesting joy and camaraderie. I hope you felt transported to Umbria, if only for a few brief minutes. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd so appreciate a like and a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.